This is totally mental and a pretty cool app at the same time. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today we're checking out an app called Kinopio. It is this mind mapping application and apparently it's designed to help you mind map, to create notes and also to brainstorm ideas. Before we begin today's video, a word from our sponsor. So folks, this month here on Keep Productive is one of my highly recommended project management tools and that is ClickUp. Now ClickUp is one of the fastest growing productivity and project management platforms in the last two years and it's only been around for two years. They already have millions of users and over 100,000 teams are using them at the world's best companies like Google, Airbnb, Uber and Nike. Now teams traditionally use spreadsheets, email, chat and many project managers but there's a big trend towards teams using just one application. Most teams replace three or more apps just by switching to ClickUp. So that process in itself, moving into one application, saves teams so much time. Now ClickUp has features like tasks, docs and goals to keep organized in one place and have fewer meetings, emails and daily switches between multiple applications. And it's perfect for all types of teams from 2 to 2000 and from farming projects to even building aeroplanes. On top of that, they have an extremely generous free forever plan. You can literally add unlimited users and unlimited work to their app for free. So guys, you can find out more about ClickUp below. I recommend checking them out. They also do have a Just Me plan if you wanted to switch to some of your own personal work too. So thanks again to ClickUp for sponsoring this month here on Keep Productive. So folks, Canopia is something I actually discovered like very randomly on Twitter. Um, and I just thought it was a cool idea. I think I saw a couple of video GIFs, images that were popping up and a couple of people liking them and sharing them. And I thought it was quite a neat concept. We've already reviewed here on this channel the Toto, which is like this visual mind map mapping tool with these like islands that you can help organize and make notes on. So it's sort of like visual association. Now this app isn't too dissimilar. Canopio is a visual thinking tool for new ideas and hard problems. So a very similar concept to say Natoto, but in this, I guess, much more 2D format. So this is Canopio. What I want to first do is demonstrate some of the general navigation and then we'll dive into the features of this application. So what's cool is when you get started, you can actually jump in without an account because you can start playing around with how you use the app in this sort of preview mode. So over on this left hand side, you can see what's new and they tend to be adding new things every few days. They've got this real time collaboration feature now and this checkbox cards, which is very cool. Now in the bottom left, you have a couple of things here. You've got the ability to favorite to filter down so there are some filtering abilities and also explore so inside of your canopio you can create spaces you can also share those spaces to the canopio community which you can access on that left hand side and there are also some really cool templates so for example you could steal one for a book club you could steal one for to-do list we'll be demonstrating a few a bit later so you can go ahead and create uh, any nude mind map just by pressing um, enter on the keyboard and you can see that uh, a new sort of node is created to this mind map. Now what's very cool is I could get this started very easily. So I could say, um, I could set, call it keep productive and I can add an image if I want to using GifCat or choosing one of the um, almost like an unsplash website thing. And also I can choose from stickers as well. So that could be good for association, especially for people studying. I can also choose a frame as well. I can choose garden leaves, magical helpers or tea time. I think this is more of like a sort of like just a frame around the edges. Um, a quite a cool little sort of indie style thing. So what's cool is once you tap uh, on this sort of like half moon thing on the side, you can go ahead and connect items together. And that builds a relationship that allows you to move it around, but still be in touch. And you can naturally add as many of you like of these. So if I wanted to connect those two together, you can see the branching relationship there. So if I wanted to go ahead and create a, a few things that Key Productive do, then I can go ahead and connect them by using these very simple little branches down here, which is very cool. 
And if I want to, any given time, I can make a new workspace by going up and pressing add. Um, but each time you create a new one, um, it's quite cool. They give you like a butter dream. This one's called, um, but you can actually change the title here. And this one, I'm, I might say business model. And there you go, a new space is created. So as you can see, if I want to get rid of two of the strings or relationships I've created, I could drag them across these two and you can see the two sort of strings wobbling in the breeze. You can remove them. And as you can see, they become disconnected. And I could do that at any given time if I highlight or select using the dragging tool, which is really interactive. I didn't think it would work as well. I can either move or copy them, export them, or even remove them completely. So you can see there that I have uh, all the details there. And that's how you connect things up together, um, which is very cool. So I can actually connect up all of the branches just by doing that. Um, and I can even make more relationships and also add labels too. Now, labels can be modified. So, for example, I could say um, community. I could call this one community. And this one, um, because it's Instagram content. And because uh, it's medium, again, content. Or just add from the same branch. And the same again, content. So you can start to see a bit of a cool picture between all of this because I'm able to build these very simple relationships that get us started. So for example, if I wanted to start adding some to-dos to this area, say I wanted to start um, saying film introduction to Rome plus Notion video, what I could do is I could go to the start of that and add two brackets around the edges and press enter. And you can see there that a checkbox appears. That means that you can tick it and tick it off and move it around so now I can actually create a connection between these two and start off a little branched to-do list there. And if I click in, um, you can actually see that I can tick it off using this method or just tick it off using the external method there. So I can create some form of to-do list using Canopio, which is quite cool. And then I can modify the connection. And if I wanted to make it um, an association to anything green being a task, then I can have that there. So using the filters down at the bottom, I could, for example, go, I only want to see task relationships and everything gets minimized that isn't a task relationship. If I wanted to see only things that are content related, that could be quite helpful. And that could be useful, for example, if you're using this for studying or being able to brainstorm ideas that are associative to a certain label. Now down here, I can also only bring up things that are related to tea time or I could clear all. Now, if I want to, I can share this Canopio by going to a copy URL and uh, I can change the status of it to open to private um, and to copy the URL and invite collaborators as well. And that allows real time collaboration. So there's sort of like a really cool guide down this left hand side. They're like who makes it and all this sort of stuff. So the people who makes it is it's person called Pirajan, uh, apparently grew up in Canada and used to work at Glitch. Um, that's probably the reason why it's so colorful. Um, but he is working on this at the moment. So right now, I actually don't think there is any pricing to this. So you probably can get started with a free account. The settings are really simple. You can only remove your data. The thing to note is you can export your data, actually turn it into just a copy of the card names, which is quite cool, um, and download it as a TXT or a JSON file if you want to export it. So that's quite nifty. And let me show you the templates area. So if I go to explore and I want to create a to-do list template. So this is quite a cool way to start seeing your to-dos. And what's quite nice is you can go and, for example, buy. You can see outside and create these sort of um, you know, branches per um, specific activity, sort of using a GTD-like concept because you're adding a context. So you can say catch up with the work emails at work and you can start ticking them off. Let's look at a few more templates. Let's go to the class notes one. If you're taking class notes, you can see that you can make these branches and sort of add to them. It's very markdown like. Uh, I really like this as well. And if you want to save a copy to your area, that's how you do it. And that's already in your area, which is very neat. You can do the same with, say, a meeting agenda, although pretty say not very professional to send over to someone. It gets it a bit more interactive for yourself. And you can see there uh, that you can jump in and see the details. So I wouldn't see necessarily a hideous amount of notes, but I can see it's very, very useful for students or those who want to create this sort of interactive way um, of mind mapping and creating these relationships. Very much a mind mapping tool, much more than it is, say, a Rome competitor or even a Oblivion competitor at all. Oblivion, I mean, Obsidian, 
um, but you can imagine it's quite a cool concept. So looking at the design area, I found a couple of ones that were quite good. Uh, I saw a cool car one. Let's see if it's still there. So there's a cool demonstration of things you can see in Thailand. So as you can see here, you've got this sort of mind map um, of loads of images that they brought in from the web. And uh, that's quite a neat one if you wanted to copy it. You can also do this with, say, um, there's also one for cool cars, which I quite liked, as you can see. No Ferraris on here, but at the same time, it's quite a neat demonstration of how interactive you can get this tool. So folks, I think it's very early days for this application. It's more of a stu study tool than is anything else, and more of a visual mind mapping, a fun visual mind mapping way. I think sometimes when you download apps like MindNode, whilst they can be very beneficial, they're not as interactive and playful as this. This sort of reminds me of if Habitica made a mind mapping app, uh, this would be it. So folks, a big thank you. Uh, I'll probably be checking out a bit more just because I'm interested myself to see how things go. Um, but it looks really cool at that. So folks, a big thank you. Please do subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheers everyone. Bye.